Oh. What a nice day to head into Hogsmeade. Speaking of Weasley, mm -hmm. she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Oh, Has yes. She? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, Bellio. given my detention record. <sighs> Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. <laughs> of course. I just feel like there might be something here, but... Speaking oh, of what? detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Oh. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, oh. was on the hunt for me, as is oh. often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Hmm. So Sebastian's a little bit of a trouble causer, but maybe it's just um. So being how did a class you manage clown. to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She it's thinks I shouldn't outfit. be allowed in the restricted section, okay. and I, on the other hand, am but inclined then... to disagree. What are oh, these? Just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Oh. Okay, well. Thank you for the um, information. They are very pretty, actually. He isn't. He isn't wrong. What? Oh. Never mind. What's that? Revelio. What is that? Can I? <gasps> Moonstone. Moonstone. Hmm. What's 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 Moonstone? Moonstone. An ingredient commonly used for conjuration magic. It is found in every region and acquired by breaking crystallized stone. Wow, okay, and lacewing flies. Delicate wings used in the focus potion. They're commonly found in open fields. Ha! Huh. Well, there we are. Hmm, yes. Well, all right. Sorry, Sebastian, I, I got distracted by the crystals. Revelia. Lots of butterflies and birds, it's very nice. Well, it's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What? What's going on? <gasps> see for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? Wow. You certainly don't see that every day. Very, very pretty. Look at the castle! <gasps> very, um, very magical indeed. Do you think Poppy's oh, already more, seen more the lacewing flies. Can we... Why we already named them too. What? There we go. Proud Tooth and Sugarfoot. Proud Tooth and Sugarfoot? <laughs> to the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Okay. Hence the name. Yes. Precisely. Forbidden. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Okay. Revelio. What are the ruins of? Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? <gasps> a little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. <laughs> Loads to see, places to discover. Mm. Oh, any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? No, that's true. You um, still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I'm not not likely to either. Um, to be honest, Sebastian, I'm. Rebellion. Ah, here we go. Elegant 
formal uniform. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Sorry, Sebastian. Distracted again. Distraction Avenue for me. Very nice outfits. Intriguing. Can we gather these? Yes. Leaping toadstool caps. Hmm. Oh. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year is Yes, sorry. Crystals again. <laughs> Not sure what I did to deserve that. Deserve what? Did something hurt you or something? Rebellion. More, more of these toadstools. Oh, I can gather them another Mr. time. Mr. Moon! Mr. He's the Moon. Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Oh, dear. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What? What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. Oh, God. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A, a, a demi guys. A demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but no. he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. No, very, uh, Mr. very Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's Ooh, lovely, wow. but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Oh, good. Okay. Um, sorry, folks. Oh, God. Wow. So this is Hogsmeade, eh? Very nice. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. Cauldrons? We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Well, it looks great. Very exciting. Wow. Okay. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Okay. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Yes, yes, of course. Okay. So let's have a look at our map, shall we? Points of interest. Oh, my. Well, well, well. Lots of shops. So we need to go to Tombs and Scrolls. Or Tomes and Scrolls, depending on how you say it. J. Pippin's Potions. And Ollivanders. Well, I think we should potentially go to Ollivanders first. Just um, just to get our wand. And we are right near it, so that's kind of a bonus. Uh, and the Magic Meep. Ah, for our fresh produce. Well, all right. Okay. Well, um, I'll see you a little bit later on. I'm here. Mr. Ollivanders. Merlin. Blooming beard. Hello? Kim. Um, sir? Oh! I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Okay. Wow. Uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for. For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I. About time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Mm -hmm. Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. 
But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Okay. Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Hmm. Well, go ahead, swish. Oh, dear. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh, goodness. Yep. Oh, dear. Definitely not. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Okay. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Okay. Oh! Oh, 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 oh goodness! Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Mm. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Hmm. Yes, I quite like that. I think that's rather nice. Natural grey. Hmm. I think we'll do ebony, fourteen and a half inches, and rigid. Quite a quite a decent sized wand. And then what should its core be? Dragon Heartstring. Dragon Heartstring that serves as the core of a wand known for producing powerful magic. Unicorn Hair. The hair of a unicorn that serves as the core of a wand known for producing consistent magic. Phoenix Feather. The feather of a phoenix that serves as the core of a wand capable of producing a great range of magic. Hmm. Power or range or consistency. Hmm. Well, I suppose we'd want something quite powerful, wouldn't we? I think. Yes, I think I'm quite set on that. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Good. So there we have it. I, I believe that will be our wand. Rather nice. Rather nice item. What do you think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Yes. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That mm. sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Well, thank you. Very much. Revenia. Ooh, what's this? What is that? Ah. Hmm. Well, 
So we have our new wand. Marvellous. Well, let's see where else we need to go. Well, I suppose we could we could go and get our books next. That would probably be a very um, good place to start, I think. Yes. Wow. Quite a, uh, quite a... What's that? Oh, a field guide page, hey. Ollivander's Wand Shop. Wands of a variety of woods and all manner of flexibility, each possessing one of three magical cores, chose their owners in this cosy, cluttered shop run by the amiable and knowledgeable Gerbold Ollivander. In the profession of Wandcraft since 382 BC, the Ollivander family are considered the best wand makers in Britain, if not the world. Well, marvellous. Hmm. Field guide pages. Well, let's keep our eye out for the other. Hmm. This is this is amazing. Ah, here we are. Uh, hello. An oh. inquiring mind. Yes. Uh, in in indeed. Um, it would probably be rude to start searching the shop before I've spoken to Thomas Brown. Hello. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spell crafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. Mm -hmm. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. Mm -hmm. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. Okay. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want when you want. Let's have a look. Okay. So, a potting table with a small pot spellcraft unlocks the ability to conjure a potting table with a small pot. Use its pot to grow all sorts of useful magical plants. Well, nothing okay. like finding just the right thing, is mm -hmm. there? Small potions cra station spellcraft unlocks the ability to conjure a small potions station perfectly suited to all of your potion brewing needs. Marvelous. If you're interested, oh. feel free to take a look around at the rest oh. of my inventory. Yes, it's it's a, it's a pricey inventory. Unfortunately, I am lacking in the price. But I can sell you items, can I? Hmm. Scarves and such gold rimmed circular spectacles. Oh. Stylish vest school uniform. Oh. Lace sorceress hat. Well appointed. Elegant formal uniform. Ooh. Sheepskin winter hat. I don't feel it would suit me. A pleasure doing business with you. Hmm. Well. Yes. And. Yes. Not much of a spectacles person either. Lace sorceress hat well appointed. Teal clockwork scarf. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, maybe... Yes. You can take that. Thank you. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Well, let's just have a little, little look here. I would... Cloaks and robes. Oh, I only have one, one cloak and robe. What about here? What have we got here? Ah. Yes. 
let's 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 have that on. Hmm. Maybe I should I put a hat on? Put a hat reasonable on me. Um. It hides my my hair. No. No, I don't think so. But the uniform, yes, indeed. Hmm. Wand handles. No. Oh. Face wear. I have nothing to wear upon my face. Neck wear. This is where my scarf will be. Oh, it looks a little bit bizarre. Well, okay. Perfect. Well, sir, I um, I spied this here. What's this? A book. <gasps> oh. Maybe it wasn't a book. Revelio. Is is there something? Oh, silver wooden spectacles. Uh, oh, um, it would be. Oh, oh. Another field guide page. Ooh. Okay, so we found the other page. Let's let's have a look at our pages, shall we? Here we are. What's this? Olivanders, yes, yes. Ah. What else are we in here? Ah, the toadstool mushrooms. Yes, leaping toadstool caps. Mushrooms that leap serendipitously and are used in the invisibility potion. They are commonly found in forested areas. Okay. And what else have we here? Conjurations. Ah yes. We've already we've already had a look at those. Hmm. Challenges. Field guide pages, yes. Zonko's Chief Prankster Spectacles. Hmm. Well, all right. Let us continue on our way. Is there anything else that I should see in here? Rebellion. No, I think I think we have seen all we need to see. Don't mind me, sir. I'm just having a look around your shop. Oh. Oh. Well, sanguine mask. So, hmm, interesting. All right. So now we need to go and visit J. Pippin's potions. I think. Oh, yes. Oh. Cauldrons. Hmm. Okay. So. Potions, and then we can head over to the magic neap. Yes. Ah, this way. Oh, don't mind me. Blocks. Hmm. Chest. In there. What's this? Prepare yourselves. Some kind of strange salesman. Well. that? A pot. Oh, it's just some gold. J. Pippin's Potions. Here we go. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Wow. What a what an interesting looking shop. What's in here? A mauve lock scarf. Hmm. Rebellion. Well, hello, sir. Parry Pippin. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? 
Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Oh. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Very well. A Duras potion recipe. A recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, helping to protect them from harm. Useful? A wise decision. Thank you. Wiganwell potion recipe. Recipe for a healing potion. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Focus potion. Or Omar. come back another time if you're in a rush today. Hmm. Lots of different potions. Oh, ingredients too. Stench of the dead. Oh, God. Um, and these are... Oh, wow. Lots of different... Er Edurus potion. Yes. I don't think I have anything else I need to sell to you. What? Hmm. Well, I will, um, return another time. I hope to see you again. Yes. Farewell for now. Revelio. Aha! I see. Field guide page. J. Pippin's Potions. J. Pippin's Potions, established in 1753, is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietor Parry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Marvellous. Well, hey. Interesting little spot. Hmm. Can I spin this globe? No. Hmm. Well, I leave you to your business, sir. We only have one more stop. What a nice place. West Hoxmead. What's... what? What? Oh! Did I...? Oh. Trimmed... trimmed the little... little bush. Hmm. Well... Hello! Oh, hello there! Timothy come in. Teasdale. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then? Mm hmm. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. <laughs> well, bravo! Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? True. I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Very well. Dittany seed unlocks the ability to grow Dittany in small pots. Do have a look around. Yes. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Yeah. Well, not grass. That's everything. Better go oh. and find Sebastian. Fertilizer, Dittany leaves. Oh. Well, uh, thank you very much, sir. Very kind. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Aha, here we go. What's this? The Magic Neep Cart. This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. Well, he certainly has a uh, a vast selection of produce here. Um, oh, hello. A cow. Honey Dukes. 
Hmm. Well. Rebellion. I suppose we had. We'd better go and meet um, Sebastian and tell him the good news. We are... What's that? Oh, it's a lock. Okay. Tell him we are ready to um, continue the tour. Hmm. Up this way. Pretty cat, too. How lovely. Is it your cat, madam? Well, it's a lovely cat. Okay. See this way? Mm. Lots of things to see and do around here, my goodness. Sebastian, good news. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Mm-hmm. Oh, what? What is that? Oh. What fire? Draw it away from the building. Away from the village. Oh my. Oh no. Another one? Well, okay. Okay. Uh, yep. Sebastian, I think we, we have to deal with this, my friend. Okay. Are we weakening him at all? Let's keep at it. We'll wear him down eventually. Oh. Oh no. Okay. 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 Oof. Oh, God. Wow. Powerful magic indeed. Goodness, oh. a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. 
Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh. So she's some kind of... Aura? Or something? I don't... Maybe. Um, okay. I'll go and see what you want. Yes, I'll um, I'll continue onwards with this. One last thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Yes, true, true, very true. Let's fix all this. Um, it's this over here. Lucky they didn't do more. Damage. No. Stuck all the parcels back up, my goodness, okay. And then there's an entire house to rebuild, good grief. Oh. There we go. Well, hmm. We um certainly took a little bit of a beating there, but oh, uh okay. Another field guy page. Brilliant. Revenia. Hengist of Woodcroft, this statue of a Hufflepuff Hengist of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade, after having been driven from his home by Muggle persecutors. Well, what's, what's that? What is Handy this? Handy resource indeed, ah. your field guide. Mm. I'm most pleased to be included. Well, very good. Let's go and speak to the officer, I suppose. Or the shopkeeper? Yes. Wait. Revenia. Gladrag's Wizard Ware, founded in 1750 and with locations in Paris, London and Hogsmeade, Gladrag's offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate Otto Dibble happily help all those who wander into the shop, enjoying in particular the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most. Well... Uh, Mr. Hill was just singing your okay. praises. Hello. Um. Mr. Hill. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. Oh, I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's Wizardware, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. Oh. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. Oh. And thanks for what you did today. Well, um... I mean, I don't really need them, and I, I didn't really do it for for reward. Um, no, it, it it's too generous of you. That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill, but I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. <laughs> Nonsense! I insist! Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Okay. Traditional school robe. Well, okay. Okay, so 
Our current traditional school robe doesn't really offer much. Whereas this well-appointed traditional school robe does. Okay. Rather marvellous. What? Heraldic long coat. Well, hmm. We could probably probably sell our old robes then. If I haven't then. said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with Prefect you. Prefect vest uniform. Wooden spectacles, sanguine mask. I don't know about wearing a mask. It might be a little strange. Hmm. Well, thank you very much, sir. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Might help me forget that I was almost pulverised by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Yes. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Revenia, I sell even more ah, here we items. are. Should you be Gladrag's Mannequin. Unlike the enchanted mannequins favoured by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at Gladrag's serve only as a means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. Well, my shop at your leisure. I oh. Well, I gladly will, sir. What is the the chest with the eye about? I'm very curious about them. Strange little things. What's this? Pavelio. What a strange little little statuette. Hello there. Hello, sir. Come on in and have a look around. No touching if you have sticky fingers. What happens if I... Oh! I see. They change pose. Wow. Well, um... Yes. Very, very interesting, sir. Well, thank you for um, the robes. It was very kind of you. Can I go out this way? Yes, I can. Okay, Sebastian, let's go. Could do with a drink. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, mm -hmm. might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Serona, the owner. A name that rhymes. Rebellion. Hmm. That's a little weird. That's a... that's... that's... You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Yeah, we need to go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Hmm. Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Oh god. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Yep, let's go. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh... There's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Oh, well, thank you. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. <laughs> Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade... That's never happened before. No. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Oh, oh. oh dear. How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? 
Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Hmm. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Hmm. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Hmm. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Yes, maybe we should. Revelio. Just have a quick, quick look around in here first, just to make sure there's nothing of any interest. Hmm. That is very peculiar, isn't it? What could he want with us? And why is he working with Ranrock, of all people? doesn't make sense. Hmm. Well, I'm sure we'll, we'll find out eventually. Revenia. My, my, how high does this go? Oh, locked door. Well, never mind. Indeed. Pages, there are pages. Hmm. Rebellion. Any pages that we can catch? Uh, oh no, that's an owl. Hmm. Well, Sebastian. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. You did. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Hollow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. No, indeed. I must return to my common room for the night. Hello. Little owl. How lovely. Well, I suppose Sebastian will want some answers, won't he? But, oh, I've received some owl post. Professor Fig, come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Well, we will do precisely that. And hopefully we won't run into any more trolls. 